Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Zach Zubich, and welcome to Bite Size Bible Study. On this week on Bite Size Bible Study, we're going over the second reading for this upcoming Sunday, the second Sunday of, of Lent. And I hope everyone's doing well with their Lenten promises, and I hope everyone's just having a great day. Today, brothers and sisters, I am reading uh, from Romans 8, 31, uh, second part of it, the second half of that verse, for, uh, the B portion, uh, through verse 30, 34. And this is a great reading, and it I'll explain more at the end. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He did not spare his own son, but handed him over for all of us. How we, how will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will ever charge against God's chosen ones? It's God who acquits us, who will condemn. Christ Jesus, it is who died, or rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, and who indeed intercedes for us. So this... I'll just, the first part, if God is for us, who is against us? The devil. But God triumphs over devil. God, God triumphs over all. And it's, I love that there's a, there's a song, there's a worship song. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but it has those lyrics in it. And it's not like he had a spare son to give for us. He handed his only son. It was all a plan. God works in crazy ways, mysterious ways. And his plan was to give up his son so that the blood of God will be shed so that men and women, people, can live forever. But Zach, we don't live forever. Yes. Maybe in the physical form, in the form of the sense you know now you do not live forever, but your soul lives on. Your soul lives on. And God won't give us everything. God, God gave us enough. In the sense, in the sense he gave, he did give us everything. And we need nothing. But in societal standards, we need money. We need, uh, However, we need to get around. You need to job. And that's fine. And God is there for us throughout the way. God has a plan for us. God wants us to make a difference. He made us in the image of his son. And look at the, look at the difference his son made for us. And we can make a difference. When I say we, we as humanity can make a difference. And... Everyone said, oh, the world's not perfect. The world's not perfect. And no, it definitely is not. But if all people live by this one rule, it would be a pretty good place. It would be, a, it is a pretty good place, but it would be a perfect place. And that is the rule, the golden rule. Love one another as you ought to be loved. If we follow that one rule, This world would be a better place. And we can't control other people. And God knows that. God gave us free will so we cannot be controlled. We make our own choices. We make our own relationships. But it's up to us to treat others with the same respect that we want to be treated. So this week, I hope you all are treated the way you want to be treated. And I hope you treat others the same. That is it for this week of Bite Size Bible Study. My name is Zach Zuvich, and thank you, and God bless.